Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take care of ropes so they don't get tangled. So I recently published a video on how to hang a bear bag in bear country using the PCT method. In that video, I threw a rope over a tree limb and I got a great question um, from a longtime viewer. Stephen Robinson says, another great video, thanks Stephen. Um, how about showing us how you store that rope so that it is neat but unravels in the throw? So that's a great question because uh, that is a kind of thing that eludes so many people. How to keep your rope nice and neat and uh, coil it properly so that when you want to throw it, you don't get tangles. Rope skills are just one of those things that eludes some people, but uh, just a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of practice will help you uh, overcome a lot of frustration in the backcountry. I've been camping with friends who uh, have tons of experience in the backcountry. They're great paddlers, they, they, they have great backcountry skills in general, and a couple of them suck at knots. And to be with someone like that and experience their frustration is, is hard. You know, that they might put up a tarp or something and uh, they'll tie a bunch of overhand knots to secure that tarp in place. And maybe it'll rain, the ropes will get wet. And when it's time to go home, you've got to untie all those knots. Uh, just a lot of frustrations. Learning how to tie the right knots, learning how to store and care for your rope is actually kind of a big deal. It seems like a small skill, but it's one of those things that'll really improve your experience in the backcountry. So I've got a bunch of rope here. Um, I'm going to uncoil this and show you what to do and what not to do when you want to coil your rope. So in prepping for this video, I did take a look at some other existing videos on how to coil a rope, and I saw some bad habits, quite, quite frankly. Um, a lot of them start with this, coiling over, and you've seen this, coiling the rope around your arm. Now look carefully at my right hand as I do that. I'm holding the rope secure, and it's just natural to twist your wrist as you go around the elbow and twist it again as you come up over your hand. That's putting a twist in the rope every coil. And look at that, my, my rope is starting to want to do a figure eight pattern. Um, and when I throw this, it's likely gonna have uh, knots or be prone to knots. So why is that? Why is twisting your rope a bad thing? Well, here, I'll show you. Um, here's that rope and I'm gonna twist it. Okay, this is a bit extreme. This is more twist than what I would do coiling the rope over my arm. But uh, watch what happens when you relax the rope. The rope wants to twist on itself. It wants to make a, its own little pattern and that's gonna to lead to knots and tangles. And so you want, when you coil the rope, you don't wanna put pressure on it. And another thing I've seen, it looks a little more fancy, is a figure eight twist. I don't even know if I can do it, but uh, here we go. Figure eight around my, my elbow and my hand. Looks fancy, but again, you're, you're putting twists in that rope and it's not, it's not going to want to behave properly. All right, so I'm going to show you how I would coil this rope. Okay, first of all, you want to get all those kinks out of it. You want that rope to be nice and relaxed if you can. And then I'm going to hold my rope in one hand. With my other hand, I'm going to form a loop. Simple as that. There is one little twist to this, literally, and that is that as I bring the rope up, I'm twisting the rope gently in my hand. I'm not putting pressure on it, but I'm twisting it the way that the rope wants to hang. I think it's probably about a half a twist each time. And I was taught this in scouts a long time ago. Um, I was taught to coil my rope with a gentle twist like this. Never coil it over your elbow because you're only going to cause yourself trouble. General, gentle twist. I'm going to grab a larger diameter rope and show you a close-up of that twist. The twist that I'm putting into this rope now is very loose and very gentle and it's in the same direction that the rope is being coiled. And so there's very little tension on this rope as, it, as it's in the coil. There's no twists on it. Uh, and so the rope is going to behave very, very well when you want to go and use it. So it takes a bit of practice to get nice, even coils, but something that's easily learned. When I'm close to the end, I've got maybe a couple feet of, maybe three or four feet of rope. I'm going to then pull my coils together. Here's my standing end. And I'm going to start wrapping the rope on itself like this. Let me show you that again. Here's my rope 
Here's my standing end. The rest of the standing end goes this way. I am going to wrap the standing end around the rope and over itself. And I'm going to pull that tight. And I'm going to continue. Now I've seen people do this in different ways. Some people will um, wrap their rope and they'll wrap it a few times in one direction and then they'll wrap it back the other direction. That works, but you don't have to. All I do is I take that standing end and I'm going to wrap it around the coil and onto itself right here. I'm going to snug that tight and once I do, I'm going to keep wrapping towards the other end. Now there's different ways to finish this off, but what I like to do is just lift up that last, that last loop, shove your piece underneath, and you're done. Nice and easy. There's other ways of doing this, and so um, I'll show that to you as well. Probably the more popular way is to take your, take all the loops of your rope, create a bite with your standing end, pass that bite through those loops, and then push the bite over and around all those loops, and then pull that standing end tight. That will also secure your coil. So that's a nice neatly coiled rope, perfect for storage. When you want to use this rope, I simply undo that end, and I unravel this part of the rope. Now this part of the rope, look at that, it's going to have some twists in it because of the stresses in wrapping. That, that's okay. It's easy to get the twists out of two or three feet of rope. The rest of the rope is, is perfect. It's ready to use. So I've got my rope tied to a bag with a rock inside and I've got the coil end here. Before I throw this rock, what I'm going to do is take my rope and I'm just going to throw the coil down on the ground uh, loosely so that the tag end is, is up. Simple as that. And right before I throw my rope, I'm going to do one more little thing to ensure a nice tangle free throw. I'm going to grab two arm lengths of rope out of that coil. And now I'm going to throw the rock. The rope is going to go with it and the coil will unravel nicely. So if your rope is properly coiled, you should be able to throw the coil as well as a rock on the end of it. So this time I'm going to throw the coil, but I'm going to hang on to my uh, tag end. Um, here it goes. Pretty good. So that's how I coil and throw a rope. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.